Welcome back to another edition of my shorts. Right here at the ranch here, smoking a lame excuse for a lucky strike, sorting out the world's problems while mom's in the grocery store. Well, I'm sure if you saw the last video, you can already tell I'm a little cranky. That's fine. I'll get over it. I'm just hungry this morning, in addition to doing a lot of pain. But um, I was talking to a friend this morning. I ain't throwing their business out there. Uh, they mentioned, like, yeah, I carry unless, you know, my significant other's around, then I don't. And I'm going to tell you... The reason why that I consistently carry, I mean, even around my own house, and the reason why usually when I'm out in public with somebody else, I carry a backup gun. Now, I'm of the opinion that everybody in the free world should be wearing a weapon, regardless of if it's legal or not. It's your God-given right to do so. Whether the government acknowledges that or not makes no difference to me. But here's the thing. Trouble happens when you least expect it. And the one time you're not wearing your weapon is the one time you're going to need it. I'll give you an example of this. Uh, I've told the story about the first time I ever saw somebody like get shot dead when I was a kid, like at point blank range. Uh, Dave and I were in the local smoke shop and I was getting a tall boy and he was getting a pack of cigarettes and uh, we saw that shit pop off. Well, Dave didn't have his gun with him was in the truck. And I had my carry piece at the time, and then I had the backup one I always kept in my work boot. So we get the cashier to lock the door. You know, I took cover behind a rack of beer. You know, they had those big old display stands, and Dave took cover behind the other side of one. We were watching both ends of the door at the same time. So we didn't know what was going to happen. We thought people were shooting at us. You know, we just don't know. This is the fog of war, man. Now, had things popped off, we had two interlocking angles of fire, right? It didn't pop off, you know, it was just some thing, and I've told that story before. But, you know, there's a lot of times in public, right, you know, you think you're safe at the mall or whatever, and then one of these buttholes from Antifa, you know, they suit up in a plate carrier and a ski mask and take a Keltec and start shooting innocent people with them, and assuming the Keltec doesn't jam, we're going to be a high body count, right? Well, how are you going to keep your family safe if you're not armed, right? Well, what if you're a big dude like me and, you know, you're in full clothes and everything else and you have a duty-sized handgun in your waistband and uh, a backup piece, you know, right? Well, what do you do? Well, find hard cover first, right? That's, that's the rule of getting shot at. You find hard cover and figure out what the fuck you're going to do. Then you arm yourself and you formulate a plan of attack. But if you have a backup weapon on you, you can toss that to a friend. Let's say you find another random stranger, and uh, they're like, Oh, God, I wish I had a gun. I could shoot back. Well, here's your lucky day, pal. You know, and, and I'm not knocking ladies out there. I know that your female form is different than our male bodies. Okay, and there's lots of good YouTube channels for women to have products specifically to carry that are comfortable for them so they can carry all the time but just because like let's say you're married right and you have a husband and he always carries a gun because he's a good american as as all of us should be right does that mean that you should be unarmed no because what if you get separated from him in some trouble and you're with the kids and that's another grief I have. Um, I absolutely cannot stand the idea of purse carry. I know that women carry their purse around. I understand, okay? But if you leave your gun in your purse, it takes longer to get it, and it's an appendage that can be snatched from your body very quickly. I've seen purses get snatched up close and personal before. People do that shit. And now, not only do they have all your important information and whatever cash and credit cards you may have, they now have a loaded firearm, because you don't carry an unloaded firearm. Hmm? That's something that's always pissed me off, man. Every woman I've ever been with, they're like, oh, well, I don't need to carry a gun. You're carrying a gun. I said, I don't fucking care. What if we get separated, man? What if I wander off? Like, what if you wander off? What if we get in a bad spot, and you need to cover me, and I need to cover you? Hmm? Like, well, gee, I never thought about it that way. Well, no, most people don't. It's just one of those byproducts of growing up in a time and a place where I've actually had to do things before. And uh, 
you know, I don't even feel anything about it anymore. <sighs> like it doesn't bother me. The things that I had to do or the things I almost did or whatever else. The shit that bothers me at night is like the time, like in the nursing home where I didn't waste those people. That bothered me. It still bothers me. But just because your significant other carries a firearm does not mean that you get off easy, right? And if your kid's turned 18 and you live in a permitless carry state, they have no reason not to already know how to use a handgun and be carrying one either. There, I fucking said it. You know, firearms is one of those activities that the whole family needs involved in, whether they're really interested or not. Because... Even if you don't like firearms, which I can respect that if you have a religious or moral conviction, you need to know how to use one. You need to know how they work. You need to know how to handle and load and unload one safely because guess what? You might just encounter some dude's firearm that just randomly was left behind because he forgot about it. And your kids might find it, right? Well, you need to know how to unload it and to make it safe and to get it away from unauthorized users or Small children, people like that, right? You know, if you're a gun dude like me, you know, and you know people are coming over, you put all of your unauthorized equipment away, right? Out of reach, out of access for those that are not qualified to operate heavy machinery like that. <sighs> Fucking flies are eating me alive today. But yeah, uh, that's my rant about, like, women trying to get out of carrying a firearm, man. You know, like I said, there's no judgment against anybody. Like, we all have our own life. We have to live it our own way. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go lay down and watch my movie. So, I'll chat at y'all later.